Hey guys, this is Arm Productions, aka okay, and I'm the four six seven three, and I am back in Heart Baked Part Two. So, uh, yeah, not much to say. We're just gonna continue. <sighs> Finally, I'm done. After three hours of scrubbing, polishing, and an additional hour of airing the shop, it wasn't at last, at least, at last, safe to breathe without a big gas mask on. The morning passed almost in a blur. Great, I haven't managed to do anything productive today. <sighs> I think I should bake some thank you gifts for Radley and that uh, Benjamin guy. A unique cotton dirt pafé do for Q for Radley and my specialty for Benjamin sweet spaghetti monorex. Perfect. I still have time to bake something. Maybe. Then I said, what is the meaning of this? Pastry God, why do you hate me so? I didn't know you could sing so low, but here we go. You finally reached your distant level of living. Carver, what are you rambling about? Not a so, not my not so dear Vanessa. I have come to complain. Wow, that wouldn't be the first time. And for the pastry god's sake, stop yelling. See, I am a quite a cultured man that keeps his word, unlike some people. My y yelling ceased, but did your cupcakes arrive at my house? Let me check real quick. Oh wait, I don't have to. Because you are a dirty liar. Oh no, don't mention dirt today to me. Unless you want to see my wrath. Your wrath. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean it little cards beat it. I did make your stupid cupcakes, but Pastry God decided to enlighten Radley with yet another idea for his pranks. No more. The noise of the word Radley was enough to be the full grasp of the situation. Still, the order was made since my goods did not make it. I demand a refund. The audacity of this dwarf! Listen here. I don't know your little crafty schemes. You're fully aware of the... Uh, of the abyss between your left and... Oh mm, god. Abyss. No, I wouldn't call it abyss. More like a whole universe between you and me. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I'd even bother. I would've just quit, went on holiday, far, far away, and never came back. Like I was saying, I can't comprehend why you would want to compare mine and your pictures. Heh, <laughs> you're still competition. I need to check your, how you're faring every now and then. Besides, you've got some talent. Ugh, I cannot believe I just said that. But yes, I must scrutinize your progress. Maybe I was wrong to perceive him as my arch rival. Maybe he could tutor me. Maybe to know what when to strike with my bakery genius to take you down. I could go cram myself to sleep. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Ha 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 ha. Are you quite done yet? I don't underestimate my lungs' capacity. I could go on, but. I still demand a refund. I'm a victim of this killing situation. Absolutely not! Do I look like I'm running a charity? Besides, you could very well bake yourself far better cupcakes than me. It, yes. Yes, I could. But why should I turn down the chance of free food? I'm not that picky. Oh, look at the time. It's already past go-away time. You're not welcome here again. What? The audacity to punish me from this run-down shop? Bye-bye! I slammed the door quickly behind Carver. I slid to the floor and grunted at my situation. I didn't want to do anything else. Those three sucked all my remaining energy out for the day. We went up. I went upstairs. Ugh, the sun is setting. Silly me for thinking I could achieve anything at all today. Oh well. Might as well skim through my recipe book. Mm, still have my grandma send. All of her knowledge, as well as her as her predecessors, which is contained here. Mm, what's this recipe? I already bookmarked the recipe I wanted to make the most at the same time. Uh, and at the same time, I within my abilities. But this is a new one. Why well, hadn't I noticed it before? Ew. What's with, what's this cream doing here? All smeared across the pages. Must have glued them together. Hope it wasn't Bradley again. Well, let's see this. What this recipe is all about? Hard to bake. The ultimate cake for your connoisseurs. Have you heard of the term, put your heart into something? Well, folks, this recipe, you do that quite literally. Excuse me. 
I can just picture the petrified face you're making as you read. My dear chef, I just... I discovered this recipe by an accident. One day I was baking as usual when my dear husband arrived straight from work. Even though we had been together for ten years, our love had never melted. On that fateful day he decided to give me some flowers as a surprise so that he found on his way home. Ugh, blah blah blah, more of this love bull cake. Dear muffin dough, when does the story end? Oh, here we go. In short, because of the love that the cake witnessed, it turned itself into the tastiest, softest, and sweetest pastry to ever be baked. Huh, well look at that. Hard baked. Piece of cake, you shall be made by me, the great Vanessa. Thanks to this cake, everyone would worship me at the festival, adore me! And Carver would just eat his shoes from the fury. There's no way I would let this chance slip away. Besides, it couldn't be that hard to make, right? Ingredients, check, I had all of those. Almost. I have no love. Uh, maybe my, my love for my work will count. Ha! I am so alone. <laughs> no, Vanessa, you are forbidden to think like that. I shook my head, determined, and squinted my fist tightly. How hard could it be to get someone's love? Pfft, nothing that I couldn't handle. Village boys, here I come. Uh, wait, I had no time to meet someone new. So it left me with... Radley Carver and Benjamin. Ha! Ah. Ha. Ah. I couldn't cry, tears wouldn't improve my situation. <laughs> it are some interesting choices we have been, pre been presented with, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Which is... This is amusing, I like this. <laughs> I mean, everyone had some positive aspects about them, right? And they were quite a catch too, right? Look at Radley, he was... So, Radley... Yep. Then Benjamin, whose family was cheap and apparently has no knowledge of bathing. Score, Vanessa! Lastly, Carver, little baby struddle elf who couldn't stop yapping and screaming. I was uh, swooning already! <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I didn't want to think about those dorks anymore. Oh, I guess this was the first chapter. I like uh, ten chapters. I can I can count. <laughs> chapter two. I woke woke up with a heavy heart. Oh, it was five a.m. That's new. I've never been an early bird after all. The daunting task of choosing the best jeans for my sweet uh, my sweet baby cake. I <laughs> oh, um, I wonder if the cake was going to resemble its father. <laughs> I definitely couldn't wake up this early. My brain was unable to work in this environment. I grudgingly scrambled to my feet, deciding to... Alright, and the first choice... I think I have already chosen. I think I have already chosen, like... I would not go for Radley, even if, like... Someone was standing. At, if I was at gunpoint, I wouldn't go for Radley, <laughs> um, because he is. I don't know. I just. I was just turned off by his entire way of acting. Benjamin's kind of nice, in a way. He's kind of. Yeah, he's kind of nice. But I'm gonna go for Carver. <laughs> I have this weird thing, like, it is so, it is so mm, rare that there's someone really, really short, and I don't know why, but, like, manga's, like, lovely complex is one of my favorite things ever, <laughs> and, like, yes, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I let out an evil giggle at the, as the best idea popped into my head. I would woo Carver. It was the perfect plan. I could crush him with my incredible baking as well as make him love me and humiliate him in the process. Oh, oh, oh. I laugh and skip my list at my lips as I got ready. I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I have tried to tolerate the baking puns, but they're getting worse. <laughs> and started heading to walk downstairs. This was going to be a great, amazing even. 
This recipe was the perfect excuse to truly show Carver who is the top baker around here. I skipped through the bakery, humming a jolly tune to myself. I stopped in my tracks as I realized that Radley was coming in today. What to do with him? I only thought about it for a second before shrugging. When he saw the door was locked, he'd probably just leave anyway. Yes. When I stepped out in the morning air, a light breeze blew past me and I smiled. A perfectly... A, per a perfectly beautiful day to begin my plan to crush Carver. Now, where would he be? Probably lazing about somewhere knowing him. That str little stroll was almost never working. I had to wonder what, how he kept his bakery afloat. Here, cover, cover, cover. I let out another laugh as I wandered towards his bakery. Might as well start there. It was a short walk across the town square uh, to his tiny shop. A tiny shop to match a dwarfish elf. <laughs> I stood in front of his shop and tucked on the door. It didn't move. I'm just pouring myself a cup of tea. Give me a sec. Thank you, myself. What? <laughs> um, how did I know? How did I know he wouldn't be here? I let out a small sigh and pouted and turned to walk towards his house. No matter, this won't stop me. Carver's laugh will be mine by the end of the week, even if it's the last thing I do. I stepped into the forest and walked casually to Carver's house. He lived in a large tree that was only five minutes down the path. There are a lot of backgrounds. Well, yeah, I guess. They're kinda interesting. Like I love how like they try to be try to be that they are creative with it. When I was standing in front of his house, I smoothed out my skirt and banged on his door. Then I waited. Carver, I know you're in there, you little pancake. There was no answer. Of course he wouldn't be there. There's one single time I actually wanna s the only single time I actually wanna see him and he's nowhere to be found. I let out a huff and crossed my arms. Alright, Vanessa, think. Where would the dwarf be hiding? It wasn't like he had any friends. Maybe he fell in an anthill and couldn't get out? <laughs> You're so evil. I laughed to myself and wandered back towards town. He had to be around here somewhere. I walked towards the fountain and looked around. I had no idea where he could be. Ugh, this is such a waste of time. I pouted and sat up the edge of the fountain. Had the pastry god forsaken me? Sugar bun! <laughs> Oh God damn it! what are you doing here? I perked uh, up at the familiar voice and turned to see Radley talking towards me. There you are! I was worried something had happened. You almost never leave the bakery. He bounced a little and grinned at me. I didn't have time for this. But Radley might know where Carver was. Hey Rad! You wouldn't happen to know where the pancake is, would you? Pancake? Carver? Why do you want to find him? He paused for a second, and by the look on his face it was obvious he was thinking hard. Oh, are you trying to make sure he isn't around so you can prank him? I can help! He grew visibly more excited as he bounced a few times and clasped his hands together. He was so childish, plus unattractive. Yeah, sure. Have you seen him? Nah, but I know where he isn't. He let out the most evil laugh that I'd ever heard from Rath Bradley. <laughs> he obviously wasn't going to be of any help. Yeah, he isn't at his bakery, say Rath. Why don't you get a head start and plan some sort of prank, and I'll be right there. A huge grin grew on his face, and he jumped up. Alright. Uh, Vanessa, I'll plan something, and we'll get Carver good. He ran off, and I let out a long sigh. Back to my quest of finding up the pipsqueak. I stood and glanced around. He was nowhere to be seen, but... Ooh, the, sh the shoe shop was having a sale. Yes, please. I skipped forward and entered the shop gleefully. Mama needs a new pair of heels. I pranced around the racks of beautiful shoes and finally found a pair of light cream heels that would look amazing with this one skirt I owned. After buying the shoes, I walked back to the square and decided to head over to Carver's Bakery to see if he had actually decided to work. You there, girl! A short, angry-looking woman marched over to me. She looks like she was ready to keel over any minute now. Yes? She stood in front of me and placed her hands on her hips, huffing and puffing like a mad woman. You need to come and help me carry those bags this instant. She glared at me and what was wrong with her voice? Okay, I have to end the episode here. I will see you in the next one. Bye.